If you're a Unity refugee like me, you may be pleased to know that you can use Godot with C Sharp. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to set it up. If you're worried about using C Sharp, I'll tell you that the method names are the same between languages, just with camel casing for C Sharp instead of the snake casing that's in GD script. And the docs even have code examples in both languages. I've made several 3D games now with Godot and C Sharp, and it's been an absolute joy for me. If you wanna hear more about comparing the two languages, that will be in a video coming after this one. So take a look at my channel for that. And now let's get started. So I've just removed all of my C Sharp stuff from my computer so I can show you all how to install Godot C Sharp. If I run .NET list SDKs, you can see nothing's printing out. I don't have C Sharp on this computer. So how do we get it from scratch? First of all, we've got some downloading to do. Let's get Visual Studio 2022. It should be the first Google result. And if I select Community 2022, it should download right away. Keep in mind that Visual Studio 2022 is not the same application as Visual Studio Code. You can use code, but I'm gonna show you how to set up Visual Studio 2022 in this tutorial. So my downloads go to my desktop, so I'll launch it from here. And this is just downloading and installing the installer. So once that's done, we can select the .NET desktop environment and it's gonna install and download at the same time. So I'm gonna install and you can see it's already beginning. So while this goes, because this is gonna take a little bit of time, we can also get Godot Mono. Godot Mono can run both C-sharp and GDScript projects, but regular Godot can't run C-sharp projects. So even if you already have regular Godot, you need to get this version. So let's search up Godot, download Godot 4 for Windows, cause I'm on Windows, and we're not gonna click on the normal download. We're gonna click on the .NET download, which has C-sharp support. And once that downloads, I'm gonna extract that to my desktop and I'm gonna move this into my program files. You can put it wherever you want, but I just like it to be my program files. Cool, now I just need to wait for Visual Studio to install. It's like eight gigs, so it might take a little bit of time. Once Visual Studio is done installing, it's automatically going to launch. If you're a bit smarter than me, you can launch it all the way at this point. You can skip logging in if you want and then pin it to your taskbar so you don't have to go searching for it later because we're gonna need the path to that executable. Now, let's check that the SDK download with Visual Studio. We can run the command prompt and type in this .NET list SDKs command, which you can copy from the description down below uh, just to make sure the SDK did install. And it did, so that's working great. If it didn't work for you, you can check the description for some troubleshooting, but basically you can just download the SDK from the Microsoft website. Okay, so we can close it on the installer and launch Godot Mono. So I'm just gonna create an example project called example, and I'm gonna navigate to where I put my projects and paste it in here and select create folder. Cool, now in editor, editor settings, make sure you have advanced settings turned on and type in editor, scroll down to .NET and make sure Visual Studio is selected and that the executable path here is correct for Visual Studio. If you've already pinned Visual Studio, you can right click on the application in your taskbar and get the properties from its path there. Otherwise, you can go hunting for it manually with me. For me, it installed to my C drive in program files under Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 community. And the executable is in common seven, IDE. And if I scroll down, I can see it right here, dev, env.exe. If I copy as path, this is exactly what we need. Some applications don't like when there's quotations. Some of them require quotations. Um, so I actually tested if Godot wants quotations or not, and it works fine with and without the quotations. So don't even worry about them in this case. But later when we do this for Visual Studio, we cannot use quotations. So just keep that in mind. At this point, it's pretty much all set up and you have the ability to create C-sharp solutions from Godot by going to tools, C-sharp, create C-sharp solution. But for convenience, Godot will automatically create the solution for you the first time you make a script in a new project. But the option to do it manually is there if you want it. But now to demonstrate, I'll go ahead and make a little 2D scene here. I'll create a script. I can select C Sharp from the drop down here. I'm just gonna leave it called new script, that's fine. And I'll drag in the icon just to have something in the scene. We'll also add a camera and attach the script to a node. And now if I double click on the script, that'll launch Visual Studio. So there you go. There's Visual Studio 2022 working with Godot in C Sharp. This is pretty much all the features you need at this point. You've got syntax highlighting, you've got code completion. And if I run the project, you can see it prints out hello world. So C Sharp is in fact working, but we can go further. First of all, we can dress up Visual Studio to change its looks from default. And second of all, we can set up our project to run directly from Visual Studio instead of having to tab back to Godot. So for the looks, you can go into tools, themes, get more themes, and that's just gonna open up the Marketplace website in your browser. From here, you can select whatever theme you want. I like Pale Knight, and I'll just download this. Before I run, I'm gonna close Visual Studio because otherwise the theme installer is gonna complain that Visual Studio is already in use. But yeah, now if I launch Visual Studio, you can see it's a little bit dressed up. And yes, this is absolutely necessary. <laughs> okay, this pop-up is just telling us that Godot wrote 
text using Unix line endings, but Visual Studio is Microsoft, and Microsoft by default does weird line endings that have both carriage return and line feed characters at the end of every line. This doesn't usually matter, but I'll just tell it to use just line feed since it seems to work with everything, and it will stop her from complaining that they're different line endings. While we're here, we can pin this to the taskbar too. And next we can set this up so that we can launch our game from Visual Studio directly instead of having to tab back into Godot. I'll click this drop down here next to the play button. I'll go into debug properties. I'm gonna make a new profile. It's gonna be an executable and I'm gonna give it the path to Godot. So if I right click on this, right click on this, go to properties, I've already got the path right here. If I just copy that, paste it in here and get rid of the quotation marks, that's your executable right there. For command line arguments, I just need to give it the product directory, and this macro will do that for us. You can copy this from the description if you prefer. And then for the working directory, we'll also give it the product directory. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this warning. I've had this once before. I actually don't know what causes it, but it doesn't seem to cause any problems. And I'm gonna enable native code debugging. And that's that. We can close this, and I'll make sure that I select the profile I just made in the dropdown. And now when I press F5 in Visual Studio, it will actually launch the game. Okay, let's do breakpoints. To show stuff actually happening in the executable window, I'm gonna add some movement here. And I'll add a breakpoint here right in the ready method. So I'll have the script extend node2d so I can access its position. And now if I run this, it's gonna immediately break here before it even launches. You can see it's frozen here waiting because it just hit the breakpoint in the ready method. But if I click continue to go past the breakpoint, there it is. So there you go. There's C-sharp working with Godot. I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. <laughs>